Hey everyone, so today we unpack the main hub systems from DT Swiss. So DT Swiss offers some of the most well-respected hubs on the market, particularly when it comes to long distance cycling, touring, and bikepacking, where they're generally some of the most highly recommended options. However, there are a few options which can be confusing. So in this video, marketing manager Brandon Wald helps us kind of understand their hubs and the main differences. And he also touches on the different types of spoke options that DT Swiss offers. All right, let's do it. Before Brandon shares his knowledge, I just want to take a quick moment to let everybody know that this video is partially supported by Surly Bikes. Surly, they make serious steel bikes for people that don't take themselves too seriously. They make bikes that are durable and versatile that can be dressed up or down for commuting, bikepacking, ATBing, gravel grinding, or really whatever you call fun on two wheels. With 15 original dirt-friendly platforms, they offer something that fits just about anyone for any style of riding. So for more on Surly, make sure to click the card in the top right corner or else follow the link in the description below. And if you have yet to become a Bikepacking Collective member, well, this just might be the best time of all because you can join today for a chance to win this beautiful custom tumbleweed sunliner. Plus, you'll also be in time to receive the next issue of the Bikepacking Journal. So for more details, also click on the card in the top right corner or also follow the link in the description below. My name is Brandon Wold, Marketing Manager for DT Swiss. We're here in Grand Junction, Colorado, where we have our production facilities here at DT Swiss. Really quickly, I wanna run down our hub options and some of the differences with the internals of the hub systems that DT Swiss has. All right, first we're gonna start with the 350. This features our classic traditional ratchet system. Now, if I open this up, what you're going to see in that system are two floating star ratchets. And these two floating star ratchets are compressed together by two conical springs. So you've got this conical spring, we have a spacer sleeve and then two floating star ratchets. This 350 hub features 18 tooth star ratchets. So this is gonna be our lowest engaging star ratchet. However, these are going to be very durable. They're going to hold up over time. And if you're bike packing or just doing general riding, this is gonna get you through just about anything. So again, two floating star ratchets, two springs that compress together. That's our classic traditional star ratchet system here at DT Swiss. You'll also notice that I'm pulling this apart and putting it back together all by hand. This doesn't, doesn't require any additional tools as I'm opening this up, putting them back together. So the next system I want to show you is our 240 Ratchet EXP system. So this came out a few years ago. The Ratchet EXP system was designed to be reliable, durable, just like the classic traditional system. However, we wanted to optimize for weight. We wanted to introduce a star ratchet system that was going to be lower rate for lower weight for the road segment, for cross country mountain biking. The big difference with this system is again, you're going to see a spring and a floating star ratchet, a sleeve. However, the star ratchet that is internal to the hub body is mounted in place. This has allowed us to eliminate some parts and again, lower weight. Um, very similar to the traditional classic system, you can service and maintain this by hand. If you want to remove that internal star ratchet, there is a special tool to remove it. All right, third and our newest hub system is the Ratchet DEG system. Now, like with the EXP system, we wanted to take our durability, our reliability, our ease of maintenance, but instead of optimizing for weight, we wanted to optimize for degrees of engagement. So if I open this up, the big difference with the Ratchet DEG system, we've gone back to two floating star ratchets, two springs, but when you look at the star ratchets in the Ratchet DEG system, you're going to see that the star ratchet is enlarged and you're gonna see 90 teeth. What that comes down to is four degrees of engagement. And for a little side-by-side -side comparison, this is that star ratchet from the Ratchet EXP system with 36 teeth. You'll see that it fits directly inside that new Ratchet DEG star ratchet. 
What this design also allowed us to do, because we, we had the floating star ratchets here, we moved the bearings further outboard from inside the hub shell, and then we moved the bearings further inboard inside the driver body. That allows you to get to those cartridge bearings much more simply, easily. You can replace those cartridge bearings by hand. So we've gone back to our no tool concept um, and really highlighted the ease of maintenance while also coming up with a system that has lower degrees of engagement. There you have it. There are the three main types of hubs to consider. So as Brandon mentioned, the classic ratchet is super reliable and time tested. You actually can't go too far into our website, our readers rigs, race rigs, or bike checks on bikepacking.com without running across a good old DT350 with the dual spring ratchet drive. I've used it on many bikes reviewed on this specific channel and they've proven to be dependable across the board. And you can even perform a simple 54 tooth ratchet upgrade to get it to 6.6 .6 degrees of engagement. Next, we have that lighter weight Ratchet EXP. And although weight isn't my primary focus and many bike packers focus, the benefit here is a simplified design with fewer parts thanks to the single spring and integrated internal ratchet, making it a go-to for competition. Lastly, there's the new Ratchet DEG that we're actually currently testing, and it offers higher engagement through its larger ratchet, providing more contact points for a quicker four degrees of engagement, perfect for, well, ratcheting through rocky sections and precise technical moves on single track or challenging terrain. Plus, DEG's tool-free servicing makes it incredibly user-friendly for bike packers, arguably the most serviceable hub on the market. Now, another key part of the wheel build is the spokes, and I'll dive deeper into how DT makes their spokes in our upcoming site visit video, but Brandon briefly touched on their importance for bike packing and overall strength. Let's hear what he has to say about that. Really quickly, I wanna talk through our spoke lineup. Um, so just like our hub systems, we designed various spoke options optimized for different types of riding and different goals for riders. So just like the Ratchet DEG system is optimized for technical trail riding, um, something that needs more engagement versus our EXP system, which is lighter weight for someone who is really trying to optimize their system for weight. We have various spoke options that are optimized for different types of riding. Now, if we think about bike packing specifically, a lot of the time what we're thinking about is what's going to have the best benefit for the total system weight of my wheels, my bike, allowing me to ride, pack, get through multiple days without having to worry about the spokes or the various components in uh, the build of my wheels or the build of my bike. Typically what we would recommend in a custom wheel building case when it comes to DT Swiss spokes is something like the DT Champion or the DT Alpine 3. These are going to be very durable, reliable spokes. Um, now with the DT Champion, you have a straight gauge two millimeter spoke versus the DT Alpine, you have a tapered 2.34, 1.8, 2.0 millimeter spoke. The differences between those spokes, so again, straight gauge versus a taper, with that tapered Alpine 3 spoke, you actually have more mass closer to the spoke head and hub interface. So you have increased material that's going to have more strength at the spoke hub interface but then you have less material and lower weight as you get closer to the rim. That means that you are going to be able to spin that wheel up just a little bit easier with that decreased mass closer to the rim. It's also going to introduce a little bit of elasticity to the ride quality as well. Um, a little bit of compliance as, as you're out riding. Now, as we think about the total range, other spokes you might select would be the DT Aero Comp, the DT Aerolite. These are spokes that are going to be aerobladed. They're going to be lighter weight. They're really optimized for someone that is looking for aerodynamic advantage, someone who really wants to go fast on the bike. Um, one of the wheels that we just returned um, from bike packing with was the GRC 1100 die cut. This feature features our DT Swiss Aerolite 2 spoke. So this is a bladed aero optimized spoke. It's lighter weight compared to the other options we just spoke through. However, um, the resulting wheel system is still going to have that 285 pound 
uh, system weight grading. So again, system weight, that's going to be the rider plus the bike plus any packs, but we did use an aero optimized spoke in this wheel set. So there, there are various options, but things you wanna consider when it comes to a custom wheel build or a system wheel that you're looking at buying is, what sort of riding do I plan to do? What goals do I have for my riding? What sort of spoke and what sort of optimization for that spoke is going to be most advantageous for the type of riding I wanna do and the goals that I have. All right, thanks Brandon. And I really appreciate you talking us through DT Swiss offerings. And if you wanna learn a little bit more on how to service the DT Swiss hubs, check out our video at the end screen for that particular video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you like what you saw in this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, pedal further.